Hey everybody, how you doing? Yeah, we got light now. Yep. Hey. Oh, I just felt like kind of switching the monotony a little today. Doing some of my snap jewelry because every time I just get skins and I let them just go, but we will get right to it. And I just wanted to show you some of the new things that I got from Jenny's post. And um, you can save 30% and I take well advantage of that coupon code that's in my description. And um, so 30% is like a bam, big chunk crit right off my total. So I just wanna show you some of the new stuff that she has and encourage you to go take a look into her uh, Etsy page, her shop and, and see, browse around, you know, see what you like. And I'll show you a little bit about what snaps are if you've never seen them before. I did do a uh, video not too long ago. Um, well, I'll show you just a little bit here on this one. Okay. And excuse my fingernails because the only time they come like super clean is when I get in there and uh, am I under the camp? Yeah, do my brush with them and stuff. So I do that all the time. Anyway, a snap is like a little glass stone inserted in this metal snap. And then you can interchange them into any type of a pendant or anything you like, okay? They have the small mini ones, they have bigger ones and medium size ones, okay? So first, I'll just show you how to do them real quickly. So you get the stone and then there's certain sizes that fit. Okay, this would be an 18. Yep. And you find yourself a spot on your skin. This is a skin I did the other night. I should actually wait for it to cure longer. But I'm kind of digging this one, so. I'll go ahead and do that one. So you find a spot, that looks so cool. Like you just go around. That looks cool. Or you could find like right here would be even cool too. I kind of like the zigzaggy stuff. That's neat. Well, you just find a spot where you really like. So even that would be cool, but I don't like that cell right in the middle. I'm gonna go right here. So easy breezy. And you take your diamond glaze, or you can even use the E6000. And let me make sure this is going to come out because half of the time it's clogged when it sits. Yeah, it, okay. And, well, sometimes I put something there, like I find the spot, right? And, and then I'll lose it. <laughs> You know, so I find anything small, you know, and just kind of replace it with it. That way I don't forget the spot. <laughs> I just put some of the diamond glaze in there. Just enough to where you know it's gonna spread. Don't worry about the bubbles cause they'll squeeze out. I'll put it there. I'll look around a little bit. It dries very quickly. I like that. Slide it around and then press. That's it. Let that dry uh, overnight, about 24 hours, okay? Then the next day, you come and you just cut it out. Take your scissors, cut it out simple and then what I do is I'll take the stone and uh, just kind of trim it with either a fingernail filer or I even do it on this 220 sandpaper around the edges after I cut it out okay and um, then I will use my E6000 to Put them in the snap. That's simple it. You just put a little bit of the E6000 on the back, put it in there, and there you go. You can use your skins. You can use skins alone. 
that peel up from anywhere. You can use photo paper, which I use. Uh, you can even use your canvases. Cut out a canvas, an old canvas that you don't like, okay? So that's how it's done. Then there is something new that I got, which is the gel. It's like a uh, resin. It's epoxy. Gel du soleil, soil, something on my teacher. But I'm gonna try it with you guys. And first I'm gonna read, <coughs> excuse me, the package it comes and you can get all this from Jenny's uh, page here. So it says it cures, curing direct midnight midday sunlight or ultraviolet curing lamp. A thick layer to uh, millimeter takes about 15 minutes to set firm, but not yet hard. Thicker layers take longer. After exposure, gel continues to harden over the next few hours. Uh, can be layered, can be layered, okay? So it's simple. It's not even like no mixing involved. So this was from the other night that lemon and all that I had this and I went ahead and cut one out and I glued it in there with some E6000 yesterday okay and uh, we're gonna give it a try so let's see what happens <laughs> I'll use this so I don't get my box <laughs> is to just squeeze it in there all over. Not too thick. I should get a little bit. I should get into the corners. That's enough. And you could take some glitter. You could make glitter ones. Boy, I seen Sharon doing some glitter ones the other day that were just out of this world. So, Share Bear. Then, I just happen to have a curing lamp that I used to have long nails. <laughs> right before I started uh, painting too, as a matter of fact, I was really getting into the gel nail polish. Anyway, so 15 minutes it said. So that's how that's gonna work, okay? So I'll set that off to the side and let that keep going. Or you can do it outside, but of course, nighttime for me right now. So a little bit of that spilled out, but that's okay. So that is, was easy breezy, and I love that idea. Although I do have to clean off the tip of this because there's a little bit right there. I'm sure it would scrape off too. But that's pretty. I like that one. Okay, so that's going under that UV LED light for 15 minutes. Put it on 60 seconds here each time. Okay. Then I want to show you some of the stuff that she's got too that you can pick from. Very cool. Make sure this stuff's closed up. So I made this the other day. It's a pretty, 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 pretty bracelet. I'm in love with. And these are the mini snaps. Okay, pretty tiny. Like here's my finger, and there it is. That's how tiny they are. Not pretty. Of course, my hands are always got eczema little spots that they itch at night, but scars. I love this one. <laughs> then I made the, the lamp went off and turn back on again. Then I made this for it to match with it. I'm loving that. Then, 
I said, well, some of you may not have seen it. I made this bracelet. These are the bigger ones. This was with metallic uh, leaf green. I actually used green. That painting actually turned out beautiful. I can remember. There was another one with metallics, cobalt blue and gold, and it's real pretty. Okay. And I'm not sure if I showed you this one, but I just recently made this one. That's kind of neat in there. to keep turning that light on um, then I made this stone also the other day for the lioness that was with metallic gold and I'm sure I've showed you guys this before but for newcomers this was a metallic like a shimmer pink or something magenta most likely then she has little turtles also. I'll put this. That matches my bracelet. <laughs> and she has these cute little squirrels with the diamond tails. Okay, so that's stuff I showed you before. And then you can take the small little earrings. Okay. I can get that one out because I don't have no nails right now. Well, and you can take the minis, which I'm going to make a set for this. I wish I would have had enough left over so I could have made the set. I really do. But I didn't have enough skin. But you can take them anywhere you want. I actually took some out of here. And you have the mini earrings. So I take that too. But yeah. Okay. yeah. I love that bracelet. So I'll just make another one someday. But this was the new stuff that I got. And I actually took these minis out of my earrings. <laughs> just to see how cool it would look. Isn't that cute? That is so adorable. I'm in love with it. I had to have that. And then I did another one with some other uh, other stones I had already pre-made. And you can turn them either way you want, up and down. You know. Whatever you want, put in there. <laughs> I love that one. So, I'm working on getting a chain for that one. Anyway, and then I have this new one. New pendant, pretty, to put a mini in. And I have this bracelet here. She makes these too. You can put any one of your stones in there, you know, mix and match. Okay, then I loved this one. It's like one of those, and I have, because I'm heavy. I can't tell you how much I weigh, but let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so. This fits me. So if you are a little overweight like me, don't worry about it. Isn't that pretty? And what's really cool about it is it has this nifty little magnet things. And that's strong too. <laughs> it's dripping. Okay, so then 
Now, I completely fell in love with this because I'm always trying to collect kitty cats. And she has this new little kitty cat snap too now. Because my cat's black. So I've been wearing this an awful lot. <laughs> I'm in love with it. Then the little raccoon. Love it so much. <laughs> I like wearing black leather bracelets. I just get into them. Then I was trying to make a bracelet or a snap for this bracelet and then I found this this little bee that worked perfect for it <laughs> like a bee on a flower isn't that pretty yeah and he comes up you can put him on anything else too but he worked out great for this bracelet that I was wanting to make a snap for isn't that beautiful? I love it so much. I wish I could go out places <laughs> and wear this stuff. Then, oops, I need to keep curing that. Then, I got the breast cancer awareness snap. This is one that she made personally and gave it to me. This was a dry spring flower. This is one she resined. It looks like she put some glitter in there on some beautiful shiny copper like. You see, this is a spring flower. So you can just think the ideas are endless what to put in there, too. And then this one I fell in love with. Pretty, pretty, pretty butterfly one. So you can, well, you wouldn't want it on the, there, but you could just put it on any one. On this bracelet, it look cool. Anywhere. So that's another one I have. And I think we're done. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I think I did pretty quick today. So, yeah, that's it. Just uh, go in my description and you can find her link. Also, there's a link in there to her YouTube channel and uh, she blows me away with <laughs> her art. I actually never knew she could paint that well until then I seen her channel. I'm like, what? <laughs> so she is super good. Anyway, that's it. So I'll check out this... Uh, resin thing how oh, that's working let me see i feel it just said it was oh yeah so it's actually oh i did put a little mark with my finger but it's getting hard so that's cool so i can do another layer if i want to after that's done uh anyway that's it guys i hope you're all doing good and uh Staying busy, doing some fun stuff. That's what I'm going to do here is finish off with this one. I'm going to do, where did it go? Oh, and this one here. I'm going to do a couple more on this. Probably make a set for a bracelet for this, another set for this here. And um, I would like to make some more of the minis. So I'll have a bracelet, pendant, and earrings all to match, you know. Uh, so that's it. Have a good one, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me, you know, and um, I'd be happy to help you out. Just thought that you'd enjoy seeing some of the new stuff. I just am in love with the cat and the raccoon and then these here. I'm just crazy in love. All right. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.